So please join me in the book of Exodus, chapter 34, verse 29. And I read, Now it was so, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, and the two tablets of the testimony were in Moses' hand, when he came down from the mountain, that Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone while he talked with God. So there are many mountains in Israel. One of the highest is the Mount of Transfiguration. It is 9,323 feet and 2,814 meters. It is known as Holy Mount or Mount Hermon where Jesus transfigured and becomes radiant in glory in that mountain. The mountain range is 30 miles length and 50 miles wide. Its location is northeastern boundary of Israel on the border between Syria and Lebanon. And the other one is Mount Sinai, 87,497 feet. 2,285 meters. It is also known as Mount Horeb or Mountain of Moses. And that is the mountain we are talking today. The mountain at which the Ten Commandments were given to Moses, where God speaks to Moses from a burning bush and calls him to rescue his people from Egypt and lead them back to Canaan, now Israel. The mountain that Israel met with God upon leaving Egypt. Hebrew word sign and means thorn or thorn bush. Now the Bible tells us that Moses was on the top of the mountain. And I want you to understand that because he's on the top of the mountain, he is in the high place. Now the very reason why he is in the high place is because he is with God. So, the most high place is not the place itself, how high it is. The most high place is to be with God. So, if you want to be in the most high place, you must be with God always, alone with Him in a deep intimacy with Him, in a deep communion with Him. You must live a life of seclusion to be with the Lord. You must make His presence your home. You must give Him that precious time which I call sweet, sweet moment with Jesus. You must understand that the privilege to be with the Lord is your greatest blessing you can ever experience in your life. We'll never go down if you are always with Him. And everything in you that is low will be exalted, will be lifted. And that is unstoppable. No enemy can touch you. No sicknesses and disease will come to you. Yes, the devil will have his way. He will attempt again and again to destroy you. But God will shield you with his blood and his presence. 